Yo, what's up everyone? I'm Costa and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create your own Framer plugin. And no, you don't have to know how to code. So let's get started. Step number one, download VS Code and then go to Framer Developers, click on Quick Start and right here select and copy this text. Now go to VS Code and click on Terminal and new terminal. Right here, paste the text you have copied from Framer and press enter. We have to give it a name now, so please don't use capital letters or spacings. Let's give it a simple name, Costa Plugin 01 and press enter. And now you have to copy this right here and then paste it right here and press enter. Again, copy this one below and paste it right here and press enter. And now we received a local host, so copy this one. Now we have to use Framer for desktop, so if you're gonna use Framer in your browser, it's not gonna work, uh, you have to download Framer. Press Ctrl and K, and then open plugins, and click on open development plugin. Right here you have to paste your local host, and then click on open. As easy as that, you just created your first plugin. However, that is a plugin created by Framer actually. And what this plugin does, it generates a logo, so it doesn't do much. Now we have to do one more thing. Uh, we have to upload the folder that we just created. So how can we do that? Let's go back to the terminal and scroll on top. And right here, there is the address inside our PC. You have to copy this address and then uh, click right here and paste this and press enter. And we are inside the folder that we just created. So now I will click right here. So I will click and drag this folder inside VS Code. And now click on this, I trust the authors. And that's it guys, we are already in VS Code. So from now on, we can work on our plugin. If you click on this folder right here, uh, you will open a few files. And inside the first two files, it's gonna happen most of the work that we are gonna do. The first is the CSS, that is basically the UI of your plugin. So everything you see right here, it's the CSS. And the app.tsx means the TypeScript. That is the language that Framer uses. So basically this takes care of the functionality of your plugin. So for example, when you click, this action happens and this action is provided by the TypeScript. So the next step is to use the file that I created for you. Uh, you will find the link below in the description of this video. Just copy everything and then go to Cloud AI and paste it in Cloud AI. And now we have to wait until Claude generates some code for us. And then we have to test this code inside VS Code. All right, so we have the code. By the way, uh, if you want, for example, a different prompt right here, I uh, just highlighted this. You can change your prompt, but I suggest you to create the same app so that you can follow this tutorial and uh, maybe get some similar result. So. Let's get back to Claude. Now click on app.tsx and click on this icon to copy the code. And now go back to VS Code and click on app.tsx right here. Select everything and delete. And then press Ctrl V to paste the code from uh, Claude. Now go back to Claude and let's copy the CSS. We will do the same thing and now we will delete this code right here and paste the one from Claude. Now open the terminal again, click on terminal, new terminal and type in npm run dev and press enter. This basically will activate the plugin. So now you can see inside Framer. Um, if something has changed or not. So basically nothing has changed. I don't know exactly why. Let's maybe save this. So 
I will press Ctrl S to save everything, these two files. Yeah, so now we have a, a plugin that actually might work. So let's click on this analogous generate. Okay, and it generates. So as you can see, it generates a color palette. Let's click on add all. And voila guys, from the first try, we just created our first plugin inside uh, Framer. While editing this video, I realized that the reason why it worked so well from the first try is because of the prompt that I shared with you. In that prompt, I included the code for our perfect working plugin that generates palettes. So if you are gonna ask Claude, for example, to generate code for a plugin that has different functionalities, it might take you a few more tries until you get some good results. So therefore, if this happens, don't worry, that is normal. Now let's continue further. So right here you can choose the type of color palettes, but unfortunately nothing happens if I click on them. So let's get back to Cloud and ask it why it is happened and maybe it can help us. I just told Cloud that everything works fine except the color categories. Uh, so let's see what it does. Uh, copy this code again. And let's go back to Visual Studio and let's paste everything right here and press Ctrl plus S to save it. Yes, and it works. Look at this, you can now generate your own palettes. That's insane. It is so amazing. So I th you can also, uh, for example, right now, the plugin is way too tall. I think we can uh, fix that by ourselves. So let's go scroll on top somewhere. And right here it says the height is 500, I believe it's pixels, I hope so. Uh, so let's maybe add 300 and press Ctrl S to save. And yeah, we just <laughs> changed something by ourselves. Um, yeah, the only thing that's left is actually uh, this uh, doesn't fit right here, but I think that is not a problem. So let's just move on and let's export this plugin because before you wanna uh, upload this on Framer for review, you have to export this plugin uh, in a file that Framer is gonna read it. So how we can do that, just let's go back to Framer and then click on publishing and right here it says npm run pack. So that's what we have to copy, uh, go back to Visual Studio and then terminal again, new terminal, control V to paste and press enter. And this is gonna create a file inside your existing file already. So let me show you. Let's see where is the file. It was this one. Plugin is the file we have to upload on Framer uh, Marketplace. So you have to click on this right here and then plugins and then a new plugin. And then we have to basically drag this plugin right here. Now I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna submit this for review, but that's how you do it. You also have to take care of, uh, I think of your visuals and everything. Just make sure that you read the guide that Framer provides on their website. So make sure that you follow every single step you will, if you wanna be successful. But that's it actually for this video. See you and good luck.